Hey everyone, it's Mandy, and today we're going to switch things up with a story time video. I finally recovered my Dogecoin wallet from 2014, and we're going to talk about how I got into crypto, how much my Dogecoin is worth today, and my thoughts on the future of Dogecoin. But first, what is Dogecoin? So Dogecoin was a project that originally launched in 2013 as kind of like a fun and lighthearted way to teach people how the blockchain worked. I mean, let's be real, who can say no to this Shiba Inu? I even helped run Dogecoin meetups and helped people set up their crypto wallets. Fast forward to now and Dogecoin has taken a completely new life of its own and it's a meme coin. Quick disclaimer, alternative assets like Dogecoin are highly risky, usually not insured, and it's possible the value could go to zero, so you should always do your own research before buying any. This is not financial advice. With all that out of the way, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, let's jump into it. Imagine the year is 2014 and you're barely making enough money at your job to pay rent, utilities, and there's not much wiggle room. Your nerdy friend convinced you to dollar cost average into buying Bitcoin when it was on sale at $820. Okay, Bitcoin just had a crazy bull run. It went from $200 to $1,000. It's down to about $800. I'm guessing that this is the new floor. I think we should get in now. So you're saying you want me to spend $800 on a digital currency? So back in 2010, a guy bought two pizzas with 10,000 Bitcoins. And today that's worth $8 million. I think this still has a lot of room to run. Okay, I guess I'll buy some. So you're saying this is going to go to the moon past $1,000? Spoiler alert, the price of Bitcoin dropped to $600 the very next month. Okay, our Bitcoin's down. I think we should convert some of it to Dogecoin. It's this new meme one. I think it has a bit of potential. At the same time, a meme coin that didn't make any sense emerged and the same nerdy friend was trying to convince you to buy it. Enter Dogecoin. It's also more affordable and you'd probably like it. Wait, are these real people using Dogecoin as currency? Let's ask the expert Doge. I think NBA Top Shot, I mean Dogecoin has a lot of room to run. Wait, who's actually using this? They're also working with NASCAR and trying to get the Jamaican bobsled team to the Olympics. Feel the rhythm, feel the ride, get it up, it's bobsled time! <laughs> My initial thoughts when I first discovered Dogecoin was like, okay, this is cute, but does it actually have any utility and are people actually using this? And surprisingly, Dogecoin users had raised $30,000 to send the Jamaican bobsled team to the Winter Olympics. And then shortly after, the Dogecoin community raised $55,000 to sponsor a NASCAR driver. There was even a Twitter Dogebot that was tipping people Dogecoins and the Reddit community was strong. So people were using the coin, it had a strong cult-like community, and it seemed like there was a very small chance that it could possibly be the next Bitcoin. So I decided to buy some Dogecoin when it was 0 0.001 cents. At that point in time, our expectations were not high and we were maybe hoping that it would reach one cent in value one day. Fast forward a month and the price of Bitcoin has dropped down to $600 and the price of Dogecoin is now 0 0.0007 cents. And here I am just questioning all my life choices. It came to a point where I had to decide that I was going to cut my losses and sell all my crypto or should I just YOLO the last $100 that's in Dogecoin and hope that it reaches one cent one day. Quick pause, this video is sponsored by Otis. Otis is a stock market for cultural assets where almost anyone can buy and sell shares of rare collectibles, sneakers, and art. The app allows you to buy fractional shares of rare art and collectibles, build a portfolio, and trade 24 seven. I'm personally interested in art, sports cards, and Pokemon cards. I have my eye on this first edition PSA 10 Hollow Blastoise. The card sold most recently for $44,000 in March and about $30,000 in December. I can't even imagine dropping $44,000 on a single Pokemon card, but I wouldn't mind buying fractional shares of it. Otis covers all the information you need to know about the drop in the drop market report. After you buy shares of an asset, you could earn a potential return by either A, selling the shares to another Otis community member, or B, if Otis sells the underlying asset for a profit. Sign up for Otis using the link in the description box below to get a free share when you fund the account. Terms apply. Thank you again, Otis, for sponsoring this video. Back to the story. So I decided to yellow my remaining $100 into Dogecoin and just keep it in cold storage. Fast forward seven years later and Dogecoin is gaining a lot of momentum and I recovered my wallet. If any of you are in my situation and you're trying to recover an old wallet, I'll leave a really helpful Reddit thread down below. It took about one week to sync all of the transactions. So I'm not sure what the price of Dogecoin will be when you're watching this video, but at the time I recovered my wallet, it was worth about 35 cents. So that means everything in my wallet was worth $25,000. Thank you past Mandy for having diamond hands before it was even cool. My ultimate plan is to just keep holding and see where this crazy journey takes us. 
At this point, I'm just holding for the memes and the amazing community. So a lot of you might be in a similar situation and wondering if you should buy into Dogecoin or not. Your friends might be sending you messages like Dogecoin to the moon. The Reddit community is strong. Dogecoin is sponsoring NASCAR again. And it's finally being listed on platforms like Webull, eToro, and Gemini. My opinion, so this is not financial advice, is only put in what you're comfortable losing if you want to play. It's pretty much gambling at this point. At the time of filming this video, Elon Musk is about to host Saturday Night Live and the price of Dogecoin is around 50 to 60 cents. Before you put any money into Doge, ask yourself this one important question. If the price of Dogecoin plummeted to 10 cents or even one cent tomorrow, would you still be okay? If the answer is no, then I would not touch Dogecoin at all. Do what makes sense for you. If you're someone curious about how to buy Dogecoin, there are a few options. Robinhood does sell it, but they've been experiencing a few issues lately. Webull added Dogecoin to their offerings on April 20th, and if you do want to go that route and you're a new Webull user, you can get two free stocks by using my signup link down below. Be aware that if you do use a platform like Robinhood or Webull to buy Dogecoin or any cryptocurrencies at all, you do not own the keys and you do not have access to your wallet. So you can't send crypto to anyone else. It just stays on the exchange where you can buy and sell it. If you do want to buy Dogecoin and transfer it to a wallet, then I recommend looking into something like Gemini. All right, and that wraps up my Dogecoin story. My question to you is, do you own Dogecoin? Do you think it's going to the moon to $1? And what are your general thoughts? Let me and the community know in the comments section down below. See you in the next one. Yeah. That's it. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. What are you making your own scene? I'm filming a skit. Oh, okay. I was filming a robbery of a Dogecoin skit. What?